as a response to rocket attack by the powerful armed group Hezbollah, Israel Defense Forces bombed several of Hezbollah's locations in Lebanon. Meanwhile, Hamas is asking people not to leave and ignore evacuation orders in Gaza. Remember, this comes after Israel's 24 hours ultimatum to Gazans to leave from northern Gaza. Now, one week after the worst terror attack on Israel, prayer ceremonies for those who lost their lives in the Hamas terror attack are taking place. Gaurav Savant reports from the Sidrot Ambulance Headquarters, where emergency first responders have worked round the clock for the past seven days, first saving lives from terrorists and now rockets. Take a look at this India Today exclusive report. One week after the worst terror attack on Israel, a quiet prayer ceremony here at the first responders office in Sederot, southern Israel. This part of Israel was perhaps the worst impacted by Hamas terror on last Saturday. Today, these first responders, many of whom haven't been able to go home even for a single day since the terror strike, are getting together to remember those who have lost their lives and also be with those who are continuously working round the clock, relentlessly working to save lives here in Sederot. These are those workers who haven't been able to go home even for a single day since last week. It was terrorists who came in and right now we were to talk about the threat uh, of, of Hamas terrorists. It's not just rockets that continue to rain on Sidrot, but apart from rockets, the threat also remains very active. Threat remains of more terrorists trying to infiltrate. But these are those braves who are snatching life from the jaws of death 24-7 and they've done it for a week and counting. Gaurav Savant in Sidrot southern israel for india today i want to talk to uh, one such brave officer who joins me sir what can you tell us what happened last week last week uh, we came out uh, six uh, six and a half in the morning because uh, massive rockets rocket attack she was a uh, rocket attack it was uh, about 14 minutes 40 For, minutes 14 minutes we can we we can out from the shelters oh we we can yeah, understand what happened and then and after that you you hear the shootings in the in the town <laughs> shooting from from uh, machine guns you understand i look from the window i live uh, in this area i don't understand i i hear fighting fighting shootings rpg granades is screaming, Muhammad! One hour and ten minutes. My God! One hour and ten minutes. Fire! I don't understand what is happening. And you don't see. You see people who came out from home with helmet, this jacket and shawl. You see, is yeah. the people come out uh, from, from homes. Here was a fight and shootings. A lot of people injured it, it, it was here in the station. How many bodies, how many people did people save here? How many people were rescued from Hamas terrorists? I don't know. I don't know, Kiki. We have a lot of people injured here. In the station, we have three or five people injured. A ambulances, all, all, I, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people. I, I can't tell you the exactly numbers. the number. A lot. But a lot of people. 